Hi, best friends, Ali Duzet here, and today is the full moon. It is the full moon in Pisces. Sorry, it's the full moon in Virgo. Oh my gosh, it's, the sun is in Pisces and the moon is in Virgo, and that is what makes it the full moon. So I'm going to share my screen with you and we'll take a little look. Okay, here we are. Um, okay, well, by now, look. By now, the moon has already moved. I just pulled up the transits for right this second. The moon is already here in Libra. This is the scales of Libra. Libra is all about equality and balance, and it's an equal sign with that little thing in it. It's the scales of justice. Um, so this is the moon. This over here is the sun, uh, that target, right? The center of the target is the sun, and that's us. Um, and so let's set this to go back a few hours because the full moon technically happened at 1 a.m. <clears throat> or so, right here when the sun was at 27 degrees of Pisces and the moon was at 27 degrees of Virgo. <clears throat> so the moon moves very quickly. You can see it, it hasn't even been, I mean, it's been a little over, uh, you know, seven hours or something. And already the moon is in a whole different sign. So the moon moves pretty quick. The sun moves about one degree every single day, and then the moon moves a bunch of degrees every day. And that's why it's important to know your exact birth time when you're running your own chart, because you just want to be sure that, uh, you know, your moon is in the right place, you know? And so, so anyway, woohoo, bright and early this morning, we had this full moon. And this is what makes it a full moon, by the way. The sun is on one end of the zodiac and the moon is on the other end of the zodiac. Okay, so this, that is why it is the full moon. And um, every full moon is gonna take place having an opposition in a different place. So, um, you know, in, when the sun moves into Aries, as it will very soon, because um, we're almost to the spring equinox and that's when the sun is gonna move into Aries, uh, we're gonna have the full moon with the moon in Libra. And then when, the sun is in Taurus, the full moon will take place in Scorpio. Okay, so the sun, the moon takes about two and a half days to transit a sign. So it's in every sign for two and a half days. So we really feel the moon going around this clock um, all the time. And right now, right exact now, the moon is now in Libra, right? But at the time of this full moon, the moon was in Virgo. So this is the healer's axis in the chart. Virgo is the nurse of the zodiac. She is very logical, analytical, routine oriented, physical body health oriented. She is going to be crazy for supplements. She is the one that uh, even if she doesn't actually work out, she probably reads about working out. Uh, Virgo is the one that you want to be in charge of making sure you take your pills. And here's the thing with Virgos. Virgos, um, <clears throat> the Virgos in your life are going to be the ones that remind you to take your pills, whether you want them to or not. The Virgos in your life are probably a little on the perfectionist end and, um, and they really care about their own health and other people's health. So the moon is in Virgo. And so whenever the moon is in Virgo, your emotions are going to be Virgo sorts of emotions. Okay, a little bit logical, analytical. Virgo moons can be associated with extreme perfectionism. Uh, they can come off really cold because they just don't feel their emotions the way that other people feel them. When Virgo experiences an emotion, it also thinks it's emotion. OK, and it will judge its emotion. I saw this meme that said, like, what is a group of Virgos called a jury? It's like, yes, a group of Virgos is a jury. Yes. And so to have your moon in Virgo, you're probably going to be a little judgy of your own emotions. Now, on the other end, we have Pisces and we have a lot going on in Pisces, because, again, remember that this uh, Neptune Jupiter conjunction in Pisces is coming up for the first time in, a, in a, over 100 years in on April the 12th of 2022. And I have a bunch more to say about that, but for another video. Uh, so anyways, this is the kind of like the psychic healer of the Zodiac. Uh, Pisces deals with the subconscious mind, the things that you don't know that you don't know. So on this axis, it's a very potent axis for spiritual and emotional healing. So the full moon energy 
but extends three days in either direction. So we're going to be feeling it for the next three days. By Monday, we should be out of the clear. And then uh, we've probably been feeling it for the past three days. So now is a good time to look at your life and say, okay, what's been going on in the past three days? And it can be really helpful to sit down and journal about it and see what comes up for you and to do some journaling about, you know, what, uh, what in my physical body needs to be healed? And you can just say, body, what message do you have for me that about my healing? Like, what message do you have for me that I could do? Uh, what can I do for myself today to help myself heal on a physical level? Over here, we have support with the Pisces end, which is going to help us heal emotionally and spiritually. And we can say, okay, what about my life right now is inviting me to heal spiritually? What do I need to heal emotionally? What are these events showing up in my life to teach me? What am I supposed to be learning? And then we're going to skip a line and just write down anything that comes into your mind. And this can be a really powerful way to connect with yourself and figure out what's what. So, um, so okay. So that is that. I'll also mention, I always, in my Facebook group, which is called Intuitive Healing with Allie Duzette, I always warn everybody on the full moon, put down the carbs, guys, because I know all of us want muffins, cake, pastries, cookies, ice cream, candy. Yes, because it is not you that wants this. It is your parasites. They mate on the full moon. They love it. Uh, and so when you feel those cravings, just remember it is not actually you feeling those cravings. It is the host of yucky stuff that lives in your gut. I know easier said than done to put down the cookies, but uh, but if you have that moment, like I, I did a Facebook live from the grocery store last month because I was in the grocery store being like, oh my gosh, I should get cinnamon rolls and a cake. And I was like looking at the baked goods and I never buy baked goods. I just, I don't, I don't love them, but on the full moon, I do love them because I don't love them. My parasites love them. And they're like sending off those signals. Ooh, hoo, hoo. They send out, out signals that make you crave the things that they want. Okay. This is a really interesting biological relationship that we have going on. Uh, but here's the message. Put down the cookies, put them down. My friends, you don't need cookies today. You don't need cookies today. So go have a vegetable or something and keep breathing. A bunch of people are having crazy stuff show up this week. And I am too. My yesterday was completely insane. It was crazy town, but it's okay. In three days, this little period will be over and we can all just, uh, you know, keep on going. So one of the big messages of astrology is that this too shall pass. Okay. Anything that you are going through, we see it reflected in the stars. The stars don't make it happen, but you can see the mirror of what is happening in our lives. We see the mirror of it in the heavens. And I love how the planets just keep going. They just keep going. We're never stuck in one place forever. I mean, look, this is 1.22 AM. And now I'll just uh, select the current transits. Look how different it is. It's so different. It's been seven hours, okay? And it's gonna keep on getting more and more different and everything keeps moving every second of the day. And so, so it's okay. So we'll all just breathe and everything is okay. And before I let you go, I've got to look at this grand trine. Okay, we have the moon in Libra, which is going to have us be focusing for the next two days or so on our emotional relationships, our romantic relationships, uh, on a global level, this deals with alliances. Up here we have Vesta and the white moon. So that's gonna be busy, busy stuff. All the busy things that we've gotta do, especially in our homes. Down here is the black moon. So we have a trine between the white moon and the black moon and the actual moon. I bet that is because of how, I bet that's because of astro astronomical math that I just am not an expert in, but. Okay, well, to me, that is just saying, uh, pay attention to your emotions, speak with tact, okay, this is a, this is a signal that we could say some non tactful things, especially in the relationships that we really care about. So just don't do that. And just, if you're going to be a little bit witchy, just don't do that. Just take your deep breath and yell in your mind and don't sabotage all of your relationships. And guys, we're gonna get through this, okay? I believe in us, I think you are amazing. And I will talk to you later, okay? I'll hang out with you on Facebook. I hope that you have a great day.